Can you introduce yourselves and the position in the band? I'm Tiff and I sing. I'm Jamie, I play guitar and sing. I'm Ryan and I play guitar. Hi, I'm Mark French, I play drums. What was that? This is just the way he says it! Sorry! No, fair enough. Mark French, drums. <laughs> Here, Mark French, drums. That was good. Um, where did you get the band name from? How did you feel about changing it? Yeah. Well, absolutely love changing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely we were kind love of like... changing it. Hmm? It got to that point where everyone was relating us to the other band or other artist, so it needed doing. Yeah. And the band name came from um, we all kind of were like throwing a few names about, and nobody like two of us would like it, and then two of us wouldn't. And then there's actually a road opposite the house where, well, the road where these two guys both live. And um, it's called Orchard Hill, so and it's in Farringdon, we're all from Farringdon, so we thought it was And it had a lot fitting. of uh, meaning to our childhood, yeah. yeah, we did a lot of stuff like down that hill. That yeah. hill, you know, became our like skating hill, our biking hill, we like had parties on there where we just yeah. went, it was, Come to your hill. it was a good hill, <laughs> and we sort of just thought, you know, <laughs> memories. And we all liked it, we thought it sounded good, Yeah. so, yeah. I remember when actually when you first said it, I was like, what should... Yeah, that could work. Yeah. <laughs> like the initial like shock of it was like that's the, sh the street, but actually everyone like from when we were younger finds it really weird. But we call it like a street that everybody knows. Mm. Yeah, but obviously everyone else don't really know what it, the actual meaning of it. And like White Clouds and Gunfire, they came to visit us down where we live, and they didn't know that it was an actual road, and they drove past it, and they were like, "Oh my god, we just driven past Orchard Hill." <laughs> so yeah. Um, how did you all meet? Well, you guys can start first. Oh, we all went at school, didn't we? Yeah. Yes. Well, he lives well, like opposite my house. That as well. We used to live. Well, yeah. Um, so obviously I knew you through that, and I knew you when I was younger, and then we kind of formed a little band. Fam Tiff. Yeah, I, I, I was, I'm, well, I'm best friends with Mark's younger sister, and they were looking for a singer for a, a gig, and they were like, and Nikki said to Mark, oh, I know someone who sings, so, and then it all went. I sort of turned my nose up at first, but. <laughs> I bet you didn't. No, I well. didn't. <laughs> so, is that the girl with the crazy hair? <laughs> yeah, the crazy hair. She used to have crazy hair. Yeah. Like Actually, crazy. I think I've seen the photos. Got like the like, oh, the hair would be a little ribbon. Mm. Yeah. The spiky. Yeah. It was worse than that at one point. Half a pot of Mac Clay. Half a pot. Start. Rock on. No, that's. <laughs> no. Half a cut of hairspray down. Serious? Yeah. What? But the thing is, you're recognisable. Yeah, Remember? everyone knew who I was. Yeah. Everyone knew that that chick with the crazy hair, she sings. Was that a good thing? Yeah. I just knew you as the girl with massive The hair. black song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually knew you sang until you joined the band. That's true, actually. So, so yeah, and then she joined. Yes, that's true. Kind of long story, though. Sure. Point. Um, your favourite song that performed live, one cover, one original? Wrecking Ball. Blingo. Yeah, at the moment... Wrecking Ball is a cover. I think, oh, yeah, cool. covers, Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball. And my personal favourite at the moment, we just we comes into the intro and I like, love it. For me as well. Yeah, I think cover wise, I love playing Wrecking Ball just because there's a pretty mean breakdown in it. Mm. And I just love that. Yeah, it's um, so fun. Original wise though, I don't know. I just I like all of them. I think you'll go for Blame Game. I, I like Blame Game because it's quite challenging but it's also quite good. Yeah. I, I actually really enjoy the song. It is. And every time I play it, it's, obviously we've only played it on this tour, it's the first time I played it, so obviously you haven't even heard it yet. We've played it now three times on tour, so it's the fourth night. Every night I've liked it better and better. I'd like to say the sound check went very well with the song. Mm, so the I have a Thank good you. feeling about tonight. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully yeah. it's solid. So yeah, playing game for me. <laughs> um, what's the best thing about being in Orchard Hill? Pouring, definitely. Pouring. It's all the Just, <laughs> just. Just the way we are with each other. I think just generally knowing that like you've got your group of friends and you've got like. Like normally you have like friends, work, and then like maybe a girlfriend or boyfriend or something. But like you've got like a whole separate other thing as well. You've got like the band, and you can do stuff with like uh, go out and do stuff with the guys. And, it's pretty well put, actually. And like going on tour as well. Like you've got another separate thing that's like super fun to do. So. Super fun to do. Oh my god, I need to stop doing stuff <laughs> like that. Super. <laughs> super. And um, the weirdest thing a fan has ever done said or given you. The weirdest thing. What said or done? Said done or given. Just whichever, just something weird. I don't say anything because I'm oh, going to no. watch it. Um, I'm going to watch it. 
Someone threw their someone <laughs> Wait, a guy threw their boxes there. on stage at me one time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Really? Yeah, here. What the people used to throw on stage when we were playing a particular song? And oh, we sugar, sugar, sugar. Yeah, doing like a dude. Like a dude, yeah. People were throwing sugar, sugar, sugar. Yeah, sugar. Yeah. 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 Sugar, and they were throwing like sachets of sugar crazy. on stage. Yeah. That was cool. It was, that, it was a good thing, but it was also because like I didn't really understand what was going on. There's like just packets of sugar everywhere, <laughs> all over the stage. <laughs> yeah, was like, that was quite like a good tradition. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was like, sugar's gonna come out. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, sugar being loved at us on stage is pretty good. I actually ate a pack once because I needed an energy boost. But... <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah. What you? Yeah, just had to do it. And just... Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, your favourite city? Newcastle. Oh, favorite yeah, city? definitely. Yeah, Newcastle is. It's I a think nice a number of reasons why. Yeah, it is. There's, a yeah, there's always reasons why. I think the sound is always really good here. Love the room. Love the it. crowd is always amazing. I think generally because we go out here a lot after the show, like everyone's like having a great time anyway before we even start playing. And like we always try and get hit early so we can like go shopping or something beforehand. So like it's a, it's not just like going to play the gig, it's like going to Newcastle to spend the day, go out. It's like more of a thing for us. So mm, yeah. yeah. And the crowd is crazy. Yeah. And it's cheap as chips. Yes. <laughs> Compared to London, yeah. it's insanely cheap, and I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, the favourite band that you've toured with? Oh my god. Or Ooh. performed with? Or Whichever. performed with? I, um, There's a few, but they're all for different reasons. I, I enjoy people. being on tour with In Hindsight because uh, mm. I actually think they're really, really good. So yeah, yeah. I enjoy watching their set as well as being able to play. So it's like a double thing you get to play, and then you get to go up and watch them, and also. They're cool guys as well, so yeah. it's a lot nicer. Yeah. White Cloud as well. Yeah, White Cloud and Fire, quality band as well. Yeah. Get on so well. Yeah, they're really, really good. Definitely are. You know. We're super excited to have them on tour with us. I know. Especially the little messages that we oh, keep yeah. getting from them. We've actually got a uh, group message. On Facebook. That, uh, it's got Marty in it, it's got all of us, it's got all the White Clouds in it. I think it's got one of Hans in the it's both on it. <laughs> and it's just like pictures of each other drinking and doing stupid things and videos and it's pretty it's just crazy shit. It's good. <laughs> um, funniest thing that's happened on tour. This, this. No! Oh, oh, no. oh yes! 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 Chris! Right, basically. <laughs> we oh, were, he's never going to live this down. We were at a service station <laughs> and uh, so there was this really, really tall bloke and I was like, oh, I've got two years. And he got in the car and then there was another bloke next to him and um, I was like walking with Langers towards him. And he's like, Chris! Chris! <laughs> Took his hat off, stood Wait. like an embracing position, like to hug him. He's like, Chris. And then he stuck him. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and he, the guy who stood there and he was going, Chris! And the guy was like, <laughs> like. And so it was like, it really was like it was Chris. Some random bloke. <laughs> Chris! <laughs> was looking at me for Chris. ages, like, who is this guy? <laughs> It was so funny. Oh, it was, I literally it was so bad. You were crying. Baby. I laughed and then I stopped and then I thought about it and then I just started really funny and I started laughing. Bro, like just ran guys with that. I sat there and was like, <laughs> and then I got home, started laughing again about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then woke up in the morning and I was trying to explain to my mum and then I just couldn't get it out. You just started like, laughing. Like, really? And then we came here and I think I tried telling white clouds, but again I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it just hasn't got not, it hasn't got any funny. It wouldn't have been so bad if I had not been 100% certain it was last year. Because I was wearing my hat like this. He took his hat off and everything. I was wearing my hat like this. It was, like hat, like this it was a little stutter though. I just came out of the bed and so I was like, oh, maybe it's a bit closer because I got my hat on. I took it off and I was like, Chris, it's me. It's me. You're best friend. And it was like, it's like the face when you realise, you're like, I know, I was like, oh. I'm sorry, mate. They just came on board. As I got closer, it was just like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to watch it all from 10 metres away. I just got to watch it all unfold. You know, locking the van up. It was just brilliant. But lots of funny stuff happens. That's just like the first one that comes to mind. Yeah. Because it's very recent, yeah. yeah. But it was hilarious. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> um, tell us a secret about each other. This could go really badly. Yeah. Yeah, it could. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Who's going to start it off? I don't want to say anything. I don't want to start it off. I can't even think of anything that I know that's a secret about any of you. Oh, God. I know you've been embarrassing habit or something. That makes habit. it easier. Well, Scuzzo, he knows it, but he snores a lot. 
when he sleeps. A we lot. have to share a travel lodge with him, and it keeps me up a lot. Uh, but it's not really a secret because he knows he does. Well, so I, I kick him like At the end of the day, my defence <laughs> is, <laughs> is that this happened in winter time. A full on cold, broke nose. This is my defence. And in the summer, I'm absolutely fine. I leave, I leave the microwave True. door open. Yes. <laughs> he leaves the microwave door open every time to live with this guy, and he is a nightmare for it. He, yeah, he comes in, he goes, microwave door's open again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. I literally don't know why. I open the microwave, and I think, whatever I've got out of the microwave, I just don't close the door. And he keeps coming over. He just leaves everything all over the I shop. I think also. He's just, just not tidy. Did Can I point out? Do the dishes or something. Yeah, we still do that for, for different things now, like em emptying the dishwasher. No one's got a dishwasher. <laughs> but the, di the, the microwaves, so when the door opens, it's against the wall, so then you can't really, it's not really obvious. Like if it was in the middle of the thing, middle of the, like, the worktop, you'd be able to see. But, but you just you just, just close it when you. you, when you <laughs> do, like the oven I door, do. you would close that. So why yeah, can't yeah. you close the microwave? The fridge, you close the fridge. These two are like a married couple, by the way. That's their annoying thing. That's one thing I know about these two is that they're like a married couple. And it's I think really all of funny. us like that, though. I think yeah, we kind of are like a, 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 a married quad, quadruple. <laughs> we all have a little moan at each other. We bicker. We don't like argue. Yeah, we bicker. Yeah. Like, the little things so like, funny, go do this. Well, why can't you do it? Well, why can't you do it? Well, go on, then. Well, you can just be like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> just seems to like, happen like that. <laughs> what are you going to say? Uh, I'm about to say something about you. Yeah. Since you bought my snoring. Go on. No. No. <laughs> Let's go then. No. <laughs> alright, alright, yeah. This guy. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. You've got to it up now. No, no, no. Will you tell off camera then? Just say it. It's not rude, no. It's not. I'll tell you their annoying habits as well. Is that? Don't don't be bad about this. Like, don't, yeah, yeah, we're not saying anything bad. Don't say something that I'm going to get off this off this camera and slap you. For. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's just obviously being the only girl on tour, and you're in the van. And I don't do that either. The conversation tends oh, yeah, to <laughs> like revolve around boobs. It's a nice way of putting it. Mm, very. <laughs> Yeah, we have very female oriented conversations. Yeah, that's a better way of putting it. But not that bad, to be fair. I think maybe to anyone else it wouldn't seem that bad, but for maybe for a girl. Yes, for a female. Anyway, <laughs> how many tours have you been on? No, I don't. Probably ten. Uh, no. I, I no. Know. No. Yeah, probably. probably yeah. No. I've I'll got. A, I've got at least <coughs> ten tour buses. No, you haven't. Yeah, no, I think I have. have. Probably about eight. No, no, we've done. It's not like it's far off, is it? But we've probably done tennis around yeah. ten. Yeah. Yeah. Including this one, definitely. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. Have you ever thought about changing your name to Tiff and the Twats? <laughs> <laughs> actually, should be Tiff is a Twat. <laughs> <laughs> no? Well, actually, I. Well, no, we haven't thought about that. I don't know why. No, we've never thought about that. No, not. <laughs> Maybe you've that. always thought about no, it. No, but I thought that a cool name, just because, not that we actually use it, but because my name's Tiff, and there's Tiffany & Co, the company, I thought, like, Tiffany & Co, but... That wouldn't work. So you'd want to use the company now? Yeah, that's true. No, obviously we wouldn't use it, but I'm just saying oh, it's right. quite, like, fitting. Look at that. The way I see bands is that it's never... One person, really. Yeah, I don't like it when they have like Marina and the Diamonds and like Florence and the Machine. I don't understand it, just have a bad name. I think, yeah, if you're a solo singer, but, like, but they, but they are just solo, solo singers with like people in the back, like brought yeah. in to play drums, yeah. to play guitar, session guitars. Oh, yeah, they're session, that's, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, they're Florence not Machine, they're a band. I don't think they're Frank's an actual band. I think, yeah, he's a solo. Exactly, exactly, yeah, but he's I thought Florence well. Machine were actually, yeah. I think that's the yeah. way it works. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Fucking quote me on this. If you read this, let us know. Yeah. <laughs> read this. If you hear this, let us know. Watch, Watch this. this. Yes. There's something like you. There we go. Um, out of the zombie apocalypse, who would be the first to die? That's it. Yeah. Me. <laughs> Definitely me. She just sit there. Usually walks by and But I have got a really. About this. I have got a really good zombie apocalypse plan. I'm pretty sure we we can do this in order. You would die, then I'd die, then Mike die, then Langs would live. Langs would live for anything. Like but, but can someone just tell me about what you think about this zombie apocalypse plan? 
What you do is no. my house. Huh? Terrible. Just get your house right, you get loads of treadmills and you put treadmills on, turn them all on outside your house, facing inwards, so that it can only ever run around the treadmill. It's so, and then when electricity runs out. If the electricity is going to run out, I live in the farm, you get a generator. Yeah, when the fuel runs out. Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. No, they said you'll get you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is why so I die first. Do you, do you mm-hmm. think you're going to have warning of SVA zombie, zombie apocalypse that you could go and buy like 100 treadmills? No, because you've got the money to buy like, And the treadmills. beginning of a zombie apocalypse, all hell lets loose, and you just go to the nearest gym and put them on the back of your truck. Do you and think you pick them up? I don't, yes. think, I don't think people would be willing to. You can't even pick up a merch box. Oh, okay. Well, the zombies just move the treadmills out the way you don't. No, because they're too zombie <laughs> Yeah, she's going to die for oh, that. <laughs> they just eat the generator for the electricity. Did you think that? No, I didn't think that. Alright. We'll stand on the plastic bits. Or just turn it off. Yeah, the plastic bits. I didn't think this through. No, no. I'm going to die first. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Um, Marty Jackson or White Clouds are going to fire. White Clouds are going to fire. Marty who? Yeah, he's. <laughs> Jack- we, who's, who's mine? Is it Michael Jackson or? Marty. 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 No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not quite aware of the. No, I do draw. You're going to have to say White Clouds, so I'm not sure that is. Yeah, definitely White Clouds. <laughs> <laughs> screw, you, screw you, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are would you rather questions. So, right. Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Coke. Coke, Coke. Coke definitely. Um, polar bears or penguins? Polar bears. Polar bears. Penguins, they look funny. No, they're cute. Polar bears are cute. They walk like you. Uh-huh. Heels or flats? Heels. Flats, heels. <laughs> <laughs> Prefer a girl in heels. What, all the time? I don't know. I think it looks better on girls. I'll it be depends. Honest. Can't my heels no. a bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, carry on. <laughs> Pizza or Chinese? Pizza, Chinese. Chinese. Chinese, more, that is more choice. Tricky. I don't know. Chinese, yeah. Okay, Chinese. More choice, yeah. Well, they know, more I variety. Pizza. I'm doing pizza. Wow. Chinese pizza. Chinese pizza, yeah, Peking duck. Mm. On a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, going back to the question before, annoying habits. This guy mm. won't stop going. Mm. <laughs> it's not as a joke. Yeah, it's like agreeing with things like that. Mm. 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 But these guys are catching on, mm. I'd say. Mm. Aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the cows. I'm surprised we haven't done it in uh, this little interview so far. Mm-hmm. Have we? Well, probably. Yeah, we'll maybe. Mm. Um, <laughs> these are like your favourite types of things, so, like favourite drink, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Beer. Yeah. Vodka. Rum. Spiced. And non-alcoholic. You can like a beer, do you? I like yeah. a squash. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I love a fucking. I love a pina colada. Did you just go, huh. No, you might do. I was like, cracking no, up I a bit. I was like, really? He was like, really? Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. What can I do for you? <laughs> What's well, following off the anyway. bottom, isn't it? You're making a laugh, aren't okay, you? Yeah. True. Favourite chat up line? Do you fall from heaven? Because it was like you fell on your face. <laughs> Get in my van. Get in my van. Uses that one a lot. Do you want to do the easy way or the hard way? Yeah. <laughs> mm. This Sorry is this. why these guys are the only answer. Does this sound like very enough? Does this sound like very enough? Does this sound like very enough? That's mine. Any more? Or shall I move on? What? Sorry? Any more? Or shall I move on? What? No, Say again. Move on. Move on. Move on. Oh, right, sorry. I think it's Shamu Rock. I was like, what's Shamu Rock? Um, Favourite dance move and can you show it to the camera? James is good to work out, but. Yeah, James really good to work out. Bubble butt. Go on. Bubble butt. Bubble butt. Bubble butt. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, bubble butt. No, no, no. Nah. I can't do it in here anyway. You can backflip. Yeah. But I can't do it Yeah. Actually, you're really funny in a club when you're drunk. Oh, yeah, that's, that's he stands awesome. like this and he has his drink and he'll be like Do you know what I loved? <laughs> Slam dunk. Yes, when this guy I just was on um, the dance tank. No, I wasn't on my own. I was just in peace. I don't know who they were, but I was with them. Yeah, yeah, you came to drink. I was so drunk that day. It's great. Favourite song? Hold on by Don Broke. Hold on, hold on. Going on. I really, really like. Mm. Come back home. 
why we are the in crowd at the moment. I really like that song. Super tough one. Yeah, it's I'm, I'm gonna go with. Mm. <laughs> Mine's uh, a boy summer song called More Things to Say. I love it. Alright, I'm gonna go with one. Quickly. Just listening to it on the way. Where Did the Angels Go by Papa Roach. Nice. Oh. Favourite nursery rhyme, can you say it? Uh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was about to say it's CC, but it's not, is it? It's is it not CC? Yeah, go on, do it. Sing that song. It's not really... We didn't really know, we just had the first bit, because when we were in Newcastle, we were about two years ago. Yeah. It's a sad singing it, and it's hilarious. We were, um, rather... Toxic. I don't... Nursery rhymes, I don't know. I quite like... I have to dump it. <laughs> <laughs> simply, simply, simply because... Simply because, yeah, like, there's nowhere in history that states that he's an egg. <laughs> so he's an egg. <laughs> But he is an egg, but why? <laughs> how does why, would, why would someone be an egg? <laughs> <laughs> why would an egg sit on the wall? Egg man. <laughs> really how true. do you get that? Yeah, exactly. Eggs don't have arms or legs. A chicken just like, laid it like, on the wall. That could be true. You know what, that could be what the nursery thing rhymes about. That a chicken laid an egg. Maybe Humpty Dumpty was a chicken. Oh. <laughs> which came first, the chicken or the egg? And it was the chicken, but the chicken died and laid an egg. And the chicken was gone, so then they're not sure which came first, because the chicken was dead. Which fell wow. first, the chicken or the egg? Wow. Which fell first? <laughs> <laughs> right, carry on. Can you sing it? No. I'm telling Sandra, we'll have to know the for all the king's horses and all the king's men. Couldn't tell the back to them. That was just talking. I know, I don't, I don't know the actual. I reckon they ate him. Do you reckon? Mm. Fried him up. No, no, Scrambled. Because <laughs> then it's easier to, like, actually, no, boiled. Because if they got boiled, no, it cracked, didn't it? So it has to be scrambled. Because then you can separate it a bit easier than fried. See what I had to no, but then there's a lot of king's horse and king's men, so maybe they had to get the chicken who wasn't there, they didn't fall down, get laid some more eggs so they can have more egg. Otherwise, it's not very fair on the other ones. So. Well, you we'll agree it work. was a chicken anyway, so I got to them. Well, it might not be a chicken. We weren't there. <laughs> um, Favourite venue? Uh, Newcastle. Yeah, that's tough. I do like Newcastle very tough. because it's got a big. Stage. It's got a decent stage, but it's also got. Like, but I do really like Camden Barfly. Camden yeah. Barfly. Is, I don't know, I find it a bit. Is, is, like, I do actually, I like Corp Bash in Sheffield. Oh, Corp in Sheffield. Really like too really. tall for my like. Too too steep. I'm too deep back. I'm going to go with classic Newcastle. Yeah, I do. I really, really I think like Newcastle. Going good. from the sound earlier. And the stage, the stage room. The, the, yeah, the side. size of the stage is perfect as well. It's not too small, it's not too big. And the room we're in now? Yeah, and yeah, the dressing rooms are great. Right next to a Tesco's. And it's cheap. And it's cheap. Okay, we're going with Newcastle uh, Academy. Final decision. Um, can you see your plans for the future, your Facebook, Twitter, and all that, and then see if Well, we've actually uh, got some plans, but we're not going to tell you. Oh, it's all a big secret. It's all a big secret. But it involves new things. So, uh, we've, got, we've got a new EP coming out. Some big things. At the end of this year, beginning of the next year, which. Uh, what a few of the songs are off tonight, which uh, I think are a great improvement from our stuff already. I think it's just a maturer sound for us. Mm. I think, we're, like, up until now, we've kind of been trying to find ourselves and find our sound, and now we've found it, and yeah. And Twitter is Orchard Hill underscore, and Facebook.com slash Orchard Hill. So follow us and like <laughs> us. Bye. 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 <laughs>